Chess friends, I hope you are doing well, today, I am going to show you an amazing and fascinating chess game that I played with the Redfish chess engine as black, unfortunately, this game was a devastating loss for me because Redfish, playing as white, completely crushed me, I'll share the chess tactics and strategies that Redfish employed in the game, so stay tuned until the end of the video, Redfish started the game with knight to f3, instead of the usual e4 or d4, I just copied his move. Hoping to gain control over the center, and planned to play d5. We have c4, opening up the queen's diagonal, and by playing c4, he is unable to place his bishop on the c4 square, but that's fine for him, as he will play the normal variation of the queen's gambit, after two moves, this position transformed into the queen's gambit, where black often plays d5, followed by moves like knight to c3, bishop to b4, and other possible moves, as my arrow shows here, even bishop to b7 can be played to control the diagonal where the bishop can zoom his camera to spy. What people are doing in the hidden places of a park. Now after knight to c3, I didn't consider the bishop to b4 move in my game, avoiding the nimtso Indian, because white can also play bishop to g5, after h6 and exchanges, queen to a4 will follow with the idea of playing e3, this position will continue with both opponents, I mean both black and white, without major advantages in the game, I have to make the game very complex and spicy, like the food I order, because I love spicy foods. In our actual game, I considered bishop to e7 to protect the knight, so redfish couldn't play bishop to g5, but redfish played it anyway, why, redfish? Why did you play this move? I am protecting the knight, you didn't need to play bishop to g5, but he played it because he copied my name, my UCI engine, like a cheater in an exam room. Anyway, you can see that as black, I want to develop on the queen side and get my queen into play, we had e3, castling, and rook to c1 by redfish, here, I moved my knight back to the d7 square, attacking his bishop, where should the bishop go? It moved back to the f4 square, redfish thinks he's playing very well, but as black, you have to play very carefully, if you make any typical move, like knight to b6 in this position, redfish can play c5, creating a great wall to block attacks, then after b4 and a3, as far as I am concerned, you can see that a pawn war will unfold on the queen side, lasting for 10 moves, like European wars fought for land and to conquer kings, the pawn war will happen on the chessboard, but my pieces, like my bishop and knight, aren't well developed, this isn't good for me. Going back to the original, I discovered that knight to b6 is not a great move, so I captured the pawn on c4, but capturing the pawn on c4 was inaccurate for me because, after the capture, you can see that my pieces are very passive in the center, 70% of my pieces are passive and frozen by the weather change, as winter has arrived in my country, and my pieces are sleeping under the blanket. I placed my knight on the f6 square because it needs to run and protect these center squares, defending against the pawn infiltrating, after a few moves, I focused on playing c5 to open up my position and my bishop, we have e4, redfish is trying to dominate the center with his pawns, here, what move should I consider? I am just getting worse with each move, even if I dare to consider knight to b6 to attack his bishop, the bishop will just move back, and after h6 h5 a5, the bishop moves back again, you can see that redfish is developing his position and creating a strategy to launch an attack on me. Even if you make a typical move here, he'll play e5, kicking out the knight immediately and then follow with a strategic move, can you guess what move redfish might consider here? The move is astonishing, bishop takes h6, sacrificing the bishop right on the board, if you capture the bishop, queen to c2 comes in with an attack and threatens checkmate on h7, black would then have to play f5, with no other options, after the exchange, queen to g6 will appear on the board, attacking black's king, the king will face malaria in his stomach and suffocate from the winter cold because he has no heat fire, or electricity, making it a nightmare of a position, the knight can move to e5, and the bishop can go to g6, as my arrow shows. Going back to the position, we discover again that knight to b6 is a poor choice, 
you can't play this move or any standard move, therefore, I played b5, pushing my pawn forward, and the bishop moved back to d3, then b4 happened, and we had knight to a4 in the game, redfish still controls the center, and if he gets a chance, he will push the pawn forward, that's redfish's plan, after a few moves, even e5 was considered, and I needed to think a bit in this position about knight to d5, which could have attacked the bishop, many players might think bishop to g3 would be a good move and imagine eating ice cream outside the university or college where they study, but then black can attack by playing c5, this is not ideal, you need to place your bishop on a strong diagonal, as redfish did in the game, bishop to d2 came next, pressuring my kingside with the bishop heir, his bishop pair is like a nunchaku martial arts opponent attacking my king, who is fat and lazy. Lying on the bed eating chips, here, if you make a typical move with black, whenever you can't find a good move. You play any pawn or king move or a standard development move, a5 looks like a development move, but then the queen will come to e2, and a few moves later, redfish will consider knight to c5, attacking the space, after the capture, a pawn capture will happen on the board, you may think that these pawns are wasted, but that's not the truth in my eyes, because human eyes are attached to fear jealousy hate revenge, and desire, they might think that these pawns are wasted and serve no purpose in life. But that's not the truth, the truth is that they block my bishop's diagonal completely on the board. Even bishop to a6 is not possible because redfish is defending it well, and after queen to c7, if you play rook to e8, Redfish will immediately consider queen to e4, you can see how he is attacking my pawn, I mean, he will be able to attack my pawn, and after g6 appears, white can consider bishop to h6, gaining access to the file, after the bishop moves, the queen moves here, you can see how redfish develops his tactics to attack my king side, this position will give enough positional advantages to redfish. With the two points of advantage in attacking the pawn, now you can see that white can move his knight back to e4, gaining access to the f6 square, and the queen will control the diagonal, this position is good for him to attack because black's pawn structure is very advanced, he can join his rooks on the board, and life will be very good, as if you could go to the park, take some selfies, and upload them to your social media account. So, let me share an inspirational quote in sudden with you. Life is not about waiting for the storms to pass, it's about learning how to dance in the rain. Alright, so going back to the position, we discovered that playing a5 would not bring any advantage for me, instead, it would benefit redfish, therefore, I moved my knight back to exchange some pieces because when your pieces are very passive, it's better to exchange them rather than keeping them inactive, now we have bishop to e4 from redfish, attacking the pawn on c6 and many players might think of bringing the queen out to c7, this move develops the queen and protects the pawn, so, you can capture the pawn on b4, sacrificing the bishop on the board, this sacrifice is crucial because whenever someone sacrifices a piece, it may be a blunder or a brilliant move, in most cases of human chess, sacrificing a piece is often a blunder, you can again see how I taught you that whenever your knight, queen, and bishop are positioned to attack the kingside, you can often sacrifice your bishop as a great gift on h7, then after knight to g5 check and the king moves. Many players often play queen to g4, which is playable, but you can also play queen to d3, forcing black to capture the knight, redfish will consider f4 check, and you can see that the black king will be just hopeless, he'll be stuck in his toilet hole while trying to escape checks, and f5 in the game, black captures it, and rook to f3 will come with the idea of attacking the black king, the position will be completely lost for me. Alright, going back through all the variations, we discovered again that any typical move would be bad for me, therefore, I exchanged the knights, and at this point, playing a5 was a good move to consider, but I decided to play rook to b8, Many chess players might consider bishop takes b4 because it's a free pawn, but nothing is free in this world, you have to sacrifice something to get something, and black will capture the bishop, after the capture, I will consider bishop to a6. Attacking the rook and queen simultaneously, you will lose the rook. Alright, going back to the position, 
We discovered that capturing the pawn is not good, therefore, we captured the pawn on c6, and after the exchanges, we have a rook here, and I'm fast forwarding the game, because I don't have time to create a long video, I have to go on a date with Leela Zero, and a few moves later, you can see that both our kings are trying to develop our pieces, we want to bring out the king to avoid any back rank checkmate, and a few moves later, you can see how the queen is stuck on the a8 square. I already told you that with black, it's very difficult for me to win this game, slowly but surely, this position is getting worse for me because finally, Redfish gets his two connected pawns, a few moves later, you can see how Redfish is trying to protect his position, pushing his pawns forward, if he finally pushes his B pawn, he'll slowly but surely advance it, and this position is just worsening for me, there are no serious advantages for me because his king is very well protected. We are just repeating moves, and after a few more moves, you can see that I need to push my pawn forward, but I mean Redfish needs to push forward, he hasn't had enough chances to do so, therefore he needs to push forward and exchange all the pieces, I mean, all the queens, slowly but surely, I'm pushing each pawn forward, but it doesn't matter because he finally creates past F and G pawns, and this position is completely winning for Redfish, I have no chance of drawing the game, and finally, after promoting to a new queen, he checkmated me, I lost, but this game was very interesting with Redfish, although I lost, I feel happy about it because my brother Redfish won the game, he's my brother, and I let him win because I didn't want to make him cry by winning all the games, that's my compassion, I am compassionate toward my fellow chess players, wishing you all the best bye bye take care, and see you soon, subscribe for more.